You just got Icon of Sand. The journey with Doom Eternal as of late has been a kinda tumultuous one, and I don't necessarily mean that in the best way. Despite its flaws, it's easily one of my favorite games ever, and I would gladly tell you that without any hesitation whatsoever, and I'm also extremely grateful for what it's allowed me to do as a person and in my social life. I seriously don't know where I would be right now if not for the amazing community I've been able to participate in, and all of you great people who are still subscribed to the channel and watch my videos. As well as allowing me to come into contact with and even in some cases befriend some of my absolute favorite content creators. But with all the discussion there has been lately over whether or not we can consider Doom Eternal to be a quote unquote dead game, which is something I feel legitimately guilty saying, I feel like this is a more opportune time than ever to talk about one of my problems. So, um, this is gonna sound really stupid. Uh, when you hear it said aloud, but... I feel like I've been getting progressively worse at Doom Eternal. This does sound really bizarre on paper, but if I were to explain it, I feel like I'm almost overthinking playing the game now. This not only ensues me to become a bit more judgmental of myself with even making the slightest of mistakes, but it also causes me to get the orders of things mixed up in terms of combos and such. One thing I like to label is Precision Bolt Finger. I didn't want to call it PB Finger though, because that makes it sound like it's some sort of fecal related disease. Essentially the gist of it is that while you're in the middle of a combo, you switch before you can fire your second weapon. This is something that can happen with the precision bolt a lot out of anything, especially with it switching back to just regular heavy cannon fire. In all honesty, I was relatively surprised when I found out that other people have this problem too. Now this all sounds incredibly stupid and meticulous. When you're constantly overthinking this sort of stuff and being incredibly critical, these little things just constantly add up to make the whole game just really unenjoyable. Does this mean that I'm going to stop making Doom Eternal videos, of course? Well, you're watching one right now, and I already have one scheduled for upload, so obviously no. I'll definitely be continuing making shitposts and commentary on it aplenty, it's just that you can expect a bit less footage from the game gathered by myself in the background or for use for the shitposts. So yeah, I'm going to be taking on board what advice I've heard over the years, and that's just, if I'm getting tired or something, I shouldn't expose myself to doing it. So I'm going to take more breaks from the game and only play when I feel like it's necessary. But don't worry, I'm never going to leave this community as far as I'm aware because I want to see it continue to prosper and it's absolutely been a joy meeting new people through it. So yeah, for now, I'm not actually divorcing Doom Eternal, haha, <laughs> clickbait, we're just separating for a bit. I am personifying a video game, I am very sad.